Hello, I'm back on the River Sow since I was here last, just a few days ago. The uh, water has, has dropped even more. It was about two and a half feet deep when I was here last time. It's, it's now barely two feet deep. And the little bit of color that was in the river when I was here last has gone out of it. So it is pretty uh, clear. In fact, when I arrived, I put a bait dropper out to put some seeds out. I used a bait dropper because it is fairly pacey on this section and uh, I wanted to get the bait exactly where I wanted it to be rather than throw it in and have it washed uh, a little bit downstream. But I realized then it was very, very shallow and uh, low and clear. And uh, the only excitement I've had so far was uh, a pike that took the, uh, the bait dropper as I was putting some seeds out. So it was a little bit of excitement, but it's early. I'm not fishing yet. Still uh, an hour or so to go until um, it's dark. And I'm just gonna tie some uh, rigs up in a moment. I was rescued from a blank on session one by a 3 a.m. chub just as I was starting to pack away as it was beginning to uh, get light. This time of the year, of course, the nights are very, very short. I'm now on session two. It's a new section, so there's that sense of excitement and anticipation about what I might come across. But as I came across one of the road bridges and pulled in and had a look, I wasn't really encouraged at all. The water was about 18 inches deep, it was crystal clear, and whereas in previous seasons there's been lots of streamer weed in the river, it was absolutely barren. And the cows were hardly getting their um, legs wet as they crossed from one side to the other. But decided to come anyway and have a look. And I found some deeper water. I've set up and uh, put the bait dropper out with uh, seeds, made quite a bit of disturbance. So I was letting that settle lazily setting my rods up, got one of the rods up, put that out and uh, 10 past nine, while I was still setting the second rod up, I had a screaming run, thought it was a barbel, it was actually a, a chub, a very good chub as well. I think come winter, it will be a very, very good six because at this time of the year, um, as we often know with chub, they're very hollow. So although the shape and the size of the fish was there, it actually was quite hollow around its stomach area. But it was a great start. I've got the rest of the night ahead. And as I say, new section, new stretch. I'm very optimistic, full of confidence. I'm also realistic as well. This is the sow, needle in a haystack as far as barbler are concerned. But if I could get one, well, that would be fantastic. It's now seven o'clock in the morning and I'm starting to pack away to go home. I had that chub last night before I'd even set up really. I hadn't got the second rod up. I was looking forward to a good night. Nothing at all, not even a touch. That's fishing for you, isn't it?